Well, live at five, a live look at what remains of Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge. Early yesterday morning, a cargo ship lost power and slammed into the bridge, causing it to collapse. The search is now underway for six construction workers who are still unaccounted for and presumed dead. With Baltimore's port now officially closed indefinitely, Georgia and South Carolina's ports could see more ships as a result. I think where the really big impact is going to come is that Baltimore's number one import export product out of that port was a roll on roll off facilities for vehicles. Well, what most folks don't know is the number two roll on roll off port in the country is in Brunswick, Georgia. And not only do ships need new ports, but shipping companies have to reroute how they're moving products from those ports. Norfolk Southern has its headquarters in Atlanta and says it's working to keep the supply chain operating smoothly. Global Delivery Service, DHL, whose new hub is also in Atlanta, says it's also ready for an increase in deliveries.